Hello and welcome to part three of doing the kitchen cabinets and cupboards and drawers. So I have got to do just this gardening cupboard and the drawer full of my food bags and foil and stuff. So years ago, I did actually have an organisation of this drawer and that's when I came across getting these magazine box holders and ironically, when I went to find some, I didn't want to spend too much money on them. Um, these are cardboard and got a cat design, cat owls. I think I got this from Tesco. Yeah, Tesco. And I've actually got another one that holds magazines in, which is their true purpose. So this is what came out of that little drawer. As you can see, I have food bags, more food bags, caddy liners, this from the floor, um, more caddy liners, and I actually thought I'd run out of caddy liners and that's why I showed you this packet that was actually this packet was actually inside there so I hadn't actually run out of these except I thought I had so I went to the hardware store and bought a rather expensive lot of food caddy bags which I absolutely hate and I remember why I stopped using them because it's really really hard to get into them now it does say open here However, I tried that and I couldn't get into this bag, hence why I just shoved it back into the drawer. So I just need to make this a little bit more organised in that drawer. I'm actually filming this video at 9pm at night and I'm actually really tired and struggling to work out how to organise this all. I had a cooking liner sheet tucked away in here. I really am tired and trying to think how to organise this. Hmm, maybe I should put it all in the drawer and organise it in the drawer. Let's tackle this. Now if you follow my videos you'll know I usually use Seflora, however I've run out so I'm using the antibacterial washing up liquid. My Seflora bottle actually just needs refilling but I haven't been in the cup and dug it all out. That's 
one clean cupboard. Right, time to put it all back again. So I've just reorganized this a bit better. So I've got my plant foods there, and then I've got another one there. And I've got the ant stations, and in fact, I probably could do with putting some of those out. Um, oil, WD-40, hard as nails. Um, bits there, so that can go back in there. So this tray goes and hangs here. Um, now, I actually do like to keep these plastic bags because I use them for when I'm doing little seedlings, so I will keep those. Uh, they don't actually make plastic bags like that anymore, so worth keeping those. And these more ant bait stations, so that I can go with the other ones. Wow, I forgot I actually had these. I think they don't make these anymore. And then, I don't know what all these brushes are for. That must be for suede. I wonder if that was a suede brush or something. Well, the nail brush. And then I've got these metal brushes. And then I've got, randomly, some a black shoe shine loads in there so I'll have to find a use for that tray hold on a minute I could use this tray for these now wouldn't that be a good idea Okay, I will have to sort that out. However, looking at this tray, it doesn't look deep enough to hold all those bits from that top drawer. So I will have a fill around with that top drawer and see if they'll fit in here another day, as it is nearly 10 p.m. So this is what I'm getting out of the drawer and the cabinet. So a cereal box I used to store my seeds in. A checker trade for some reason was in that drawer. An odd bit of kitchen roll. An already used sandwich bag. Now what else I'm going to get rid of these? I'm going to see if my neighbour is interested in these I hardly ever use well it's not I hardly use I hardly ever use food bags but also I've got so many of them um, but I definitely don't use those anymore um, wrapping film I don't even use that now these days apart from when I'm doing painting and decorating and then wrapping up the paint brushes so they don't go rock solid until the next day and then this was given to me by a client because they had too many of these and it wouldn't fit in their drawer. However, this was in the cupboard in the pantry. Cupboard in the pantry, you know what I mean, I'm tired. The cupboard under the stairs, which is also in the pantry. Now, this has been moved from there to in that cupboard I think it was 2019 into 2020 I had a problem with um, weevils and I had a load of them in that cupboard and because this box has been in that cupboard I did spray the cupboard with Indorex spray as advised by the vets However, I am a little bit concerned that they could have got into this box. So, I mean, yes, I can take it out of the box and double check it. 
but actually for safety I'll probably just recycle this because foil can be recycled. So there you have it. I have done that and I have done that. Now I could put handles here. I have got the holes, one there, one there. However, if I put a handle there, this one won't match up. It will look really, really, really odd. Um, and also I don't want to put a handle on this one because I will catch myself when I'm at the sink. So I think I will leave the handle off that one. What are your ideas? Should I put the handle on here? And then it will look, make this one look odd? Or what do you think? Handle on there or no handle? Let me know in the comments below. You as know how in my usual videos, I don't forget to miss out filming this guy. And I forgot in the last video, sorry. So there you have it. That's all the kitchen cupboards and drawers all sorted. So the next project is to sort out my car because that needs doing and I want to do a vlog and I guess I need to also update you with a tour around my garden seeing as I haven't done a tour around my garden for at least a month so that has changed a bit. Um, but yeah I hope you enjoyed my three part series on my kitchen cabinets and I'll see you again soon. Bye!